This bronze plaque that Carol and husband Ian have brought along has got everyone excited, especially our expert David Fletcher. Now this is something of a discovery really, or at least a mini discovery for us. Um, it's by no means unique, but it's a very rare item. Tell me a bit about it. Well, we won it almost 15 years ago now at a right. raffle. Took it home and hung it on the wall and didn't really think a great deal more about it until probably four years ago or so. And we did a bit of research on right. it. Okay. So you didn't know who it was by at the time you won we, it? We knew it was um, Eduardo Palozzi. Right. But didn't really realise the significance you of it. You didn't realise how important he was? No. No. Okay. Th this is a three-dimensional flat representation, if you can have such a thing as a three-dimensional mm -hmm. flat representation, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's a sort of maquette, really, of the famous piece of sculpture after Blake that stands in the forecourt of the British Library. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, you knew at the time it was by Palozzi, mm -hmm. and how did you know that? It came with this letter of authenticity with it. OK, I'll just quickly read this. this obviously is on his own note paper mm -hmm. with a printed heading. This is to authorise that the bronze plaque, Newton after Blake, can be raffled for the Brenchley and Matfield Tennis Club. Mm -hmm. Where's that? In Kent. In Kent. This was executed by me and a copy cast by Livingston Art Founders in 1995. It then goes on to say that the original version of the sculpture is being installed in front of the new British Library. Mm -hmm and it's signed by Palazzi himself, is, which is yeah. fantastic, dated mm -hmm. 1995. Now, Palazzi is an important man. He mm -hmm. was a Scottish of Italian parents who trained in London at, I think I'm right to saying, the Slade, mm -hmm. amongst other art schools, and had a workshop in London. Right. Um, it's bronze and it's patinated. The, the three-dimensional three work itself, of course, is, is also bronze. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> I suspect this isn't unique, and therefore it will be possible to ascertain its value because we'll be able to make reference to comparable works that have been sold. We're going to have to do a bit of homework, really. Mm -hmm. But my view is that this is worth somewhere between two and three thousand pounds. Um, I know that similar editions in plaster with a bronzed finish had been sold recently and they made well into four figures and this has got to be worth more than that but what i'd like to do really um we don't always do this in fact we really very rarely do it but i think there's a case here to be said we'd like to take it in at an estimate of two to three thousand and then do a bit more research mm -hmm. before we confirm that estimate and more importantly confirm a reserve mm -hmm. Can I ask how much the raffle ticket costs? <laughs> a pound. A pound, gosh. <laughs> Draw takes place at Matfield Village Green on the 22nd of July 1995. Tickets one pound each. One pound. But you were very generous. You yeah, bought I'm more not. than one ticket. <laughs> so we bought five. <laughs> five. <laughs> so it actually cost you a fiver, not yeah. just a pound, no. you could argue. Well, I think this is great. Um, <clears throat> very exciting for us to find it. Um, I won't ask you what you're going to do with the money because um, <laughs> you'll have quite a bit at your disposal and you could do all sorts of exciting things. But do you have anything in mind? I think probably some house renovation. Okay. Um, we might even do a small family holiday. Oh, great. You could do a bit of both. <laughs> we could. <laughs> do you normally do the house renovation? Yes. Right, so you're going to be spared this one. <laughs> Someone else is going to be paid to do it. Indeed. Quite right. Okay, we'll go ahead on that basis then. It'll be very exciting. Yeah. Um, I can't wait. Well, I'll see you both there. Look Thank forward to it. Thank Jolly you. Good. Isn't that just incredible? I can't wait to see how that does when it goes under the hammer. Now, from one great, great story to another. You're not going to believe this. It's a bronze plaque by Sir Eduardo Palazzi. Wonderful architect. Um, sadly dead now. But it's inscribed with his name on the back with the date 1995, when this was won in a raffle at a tennis club. And we valued this at two to three thousand pounds. Unbelievable, isn't it? That is, must be a superb way to improve your money by investing a pound and, and getting hopefully towards £2,000. It's incredible, isn't it? Yes. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the money's going towards house renovations. Which again, is another thing which is hopefully investing in the future to increase your money 
further. Palazzi would be pleased with that, being an architect, wouldn't he, really? <laughs> well, he was into architecture in, in, you know, in quite a way, quite modernist, and, mm. um, you know, he would, he would like modernising houses, renovating, so, yeah, I think he would like it. At the time, it was touch and go if they wanted to sell yeah. this, but yeah. I'm happy to let it go with a fixed reserve of £2,000. I know their wishes and I know yeah. that you know what they would like for it so let's hope we get it for them. Will will this get the top end or are you confident just getting it away at the lower end? There is certainly interest. Good. Um, we've had purchases in the uh, uh, room there having a look so they think the like the that David Fletcher at the end of the day it would make owners Ian and Carol very happy indeed. Well, we've all been waiting for this one and hopefully it is going to be worth the wait. And it's a name we are familiar with on Flogit because we've come across it before. So Eduardo Palazzi, a wonderful architect. Now this item belongs to Ian and Carol and you've got this in a tennis raffle and hopefully, hopefully we're turning it into two to three thousand pounds. That wonderful bronze plaque, limited edition. I came across this architect when we were filming in Scotland about six or seven years ago and um, we had this little tiny model that he made to give to the reps because he did a, designed a lot of rubber flooring, industrial flooring and this little elephant that I took in, I put a value of a couple of thousand on it and made it even with the damage. So it's a, it's a name that a few people will really, really be determined to have and, and I agree with the valuation and so does the auctioneer, we had a chat about it. And this is bronze, Paul, and this not is bronze rubber. And not rubber and it's not an elephant. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I no. think it's great. I love it to bits. Two to three, hopefully. Exciting. We're going to get that. Wow. Why have you decided to sell now? I think we just saw Flog It in Truro and decided to bring it along and see what you thought of it. Well, it certainly opened your eyes up, didn't it? Yeah, it gave me a lot to think about. I love I loved thinking about it. I love looking at it, handling it. Did a little bit of research on it, as you know. It's an important name. I love 20th century stuff, too. We don't see enough of it, do we, no. really, Paul? Well, we're going to find out exactly what the bidders think, because this is it, the moment we all have been waiting for. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Um, I've got bids, got interest, and I've got to start at £1,500. At £1,500, the bid's on the books. At £1,500, at £1,500, the bid's with me. £1,600, £1,700, £1,800, £1,900, £2,000, £2,100. At £2,100, the bid's with me. At £2,100. At £2,100, to two or not. At £2,100, to two or not. We're done. At £2,100. To bar 814. Yes, he sold it. £2,100. Got to be happy with that. Absolutely. Got to be happy with that. What yeah. a great result. Spot on valuation. Well done, David. Now, there is commission to pay, don't It's 50%. It's a lot of money, so enjoy it. We will. Thank, Thank you. you very much. That's made everybody's day. Again, a spot on valuation.